Hi there everyone, Guardian E here, and welcome to another Azure Lane video. Of course, we are in the middle of the Pledge of the Radiant Court event, doing our grinding, doing our dailies, clearing out the shop, all that good stuff. And they did drop an update for the Chinese anniversary that did provide another set of skins to celebrate. These are going to be the party dress or banquet dress skins. So I did want to take a closer look at all of them to kind of give my thoughts on those designs that came out, and also just kind of give an update on the daily polls that we did throughout the course of the event so far. So before we jump into those, I will just briefly remind you that if you do enjoy the content that we put out, including Azure Lane videos, and you would like to support the channel, please consider subscribing, leaving a like down below, leaving a comment. Really, really does help us out, and we really do appreciate it. And if not, we thank you so, so much just for checking out the video, checking out the channel. Thank you. So let's start with the daily polls, and then we will jump into the event skin overview. All right, doing our daily pulls on the event banner. We're going to do 12 of them today. Got 10 of them lined up. Let's finish all. For those of you keeping count, we are at one Indomitable and four Vanguards at this point, as well as one Revenge. So getting any more copies of the event ships would be great. Uh, certainly wouldn't mind uh, getting a Jervis as well. That would save me a little bit on the currency front of things. <laughs> it's going to be... A gold ship at least in the ten pole, I, and that's something to be kind of excited about. But it is an Amagi, and we're also getting an Admiral Hipper Mew. Yeah. So once again, not expecting a ton here, just because that's how the event pulls have gone for this for this uh, this segment. But you know what? It's a long road. It's a long road. We got it. We got a bunch of weeks left, so. Still a lot of pulls to go through here, and we are at least guaranteed at the very end of it to get another copy of Vanguard, so. So clearly not the most eventful or interesting or productive dailies so far. Uh, hopefully we can turn that around here. I will say that in the meantime, between that session and this session, we did get a map drop of Jervis, which is quite exciting. That does help out a great deal in clearing out the shop, so I will kind of just tack her over to the left-hand side as uh, sort of just a, a, a moral victory, I'll call it. Okay, oh, we got 10 more of them lined up, so let's go ahead and finish all and, and see if we can't get another event ship. I would very, very much appreciate one if we could. Two Kents in a row is usually not a great sign. That's usually not a great start. I gotta say, I saw the blue flash. I thought it was three. I thought it was three in a row. <laughs> Nevada. Oh, okay, there we go. Another revenge. That's great. Awesome. So this is my first dupe of revenge, actually. Uh, and I don't have her fully limit broken just yet. I that's I I'm limit breaking the ships right now, and I'm on the last uh, the last star. So, hey, we're not walking away with nothing. Abercrombie, uh, can we get something else? Anything else? No. Just gonna be the elite. At least we're not getting the elusive elite situation. It's not a boozy situation. That's really what I was looking for here. Something I did just want to mention briefly before we jump into the skin reviews, because I do know there are some figure collectors that watch the channel and check out the videos. Uh, Mime Yoi did reveal, I think just yesterday, that they are re-releasing the Duke of York Race Queen skin figure. Um, so th that's a one-fourth scale figure by Mumeyoi. It is glorious looking. Um, and for those of you that missed out before and wanted to get her, you now have an opportunity to pre-order. Now, in addition to Duke of York, also New Jersey's Exhilarating Steps one-fourth scale figure by Freeing is also up for pre-order at a whopping 66,000 yen, which is an absurd price. There is no question about that. But she does also look incredible. So what can you do? Both of those are available for pre-order right now, and I will have some affiliate links down below in the description and the comments to Hobby Link Japan in case you're interested in picking those up and supporting the channel. But of course, they will be available for pre-order at your retailer of choice, whichever that might be, Ami Ami or uh, Tokyo Otaku Mode or what have you. So first, let's start things off with Lamar's in Splendorous Debut. Now, we don't even really have to gauge whether or not this one is worth the gems because it actually comes free. Everybody does get this skin just by completing that little mini event with the latest update, so that is very, very nice. Now, the skin itself does feature these rich and vibrant colors. Lamar's has these cute buns in her chestnut hair, intricate pattern, and a lovely shimmer to the bell skirt fabric. It has these regal colors of red and gold. She's got those bright aqua eyes, and she's surrounded by this dance of glitter and flower petals around her. She has an arm strap and a cloth extended and pulled through her hand from the dress. 
Overall, I think it's a pretty cute free skin. There is an adorable little cat making a heart shape out of its tail near her feet, very precious. And she is surrounded by some friendly manju as well, all celebrating this night out. It is a very fitting skin for Lamar's. Next, we have Grozny in Tea Party with Krolik. Now, her evening dress does seem to have a bit of Eastern influence here. Certainly, there are some notes of Dragon Empery in the design. Her hair does feature some cute hair buttons, very, very similar to animal ears, which of course is on theme since she does have a little furball tail back there too. Uh, it does seem like she brought her teddy bear along for some tea. Overall layout is quite cute here as she's being served by some manju and also surrounded by some elegant bonsai trees. There are some signature puffy sleeves to the outfit and she does have a cute bandage on her face which is quite charming. It does add a little bit of a playful note to the whole thing, lightening up and contrasting some of the elegant tone. Tirpitz in a vase for the frost flower. She's glancing over her shoulder at us with her icy blue eyes, her lithe figure highlighted by the pose and perspective. She has this taut and graceful physique, gorgeous shading across the silky skin of her bare shoulders and chest, as well as the long side slit allows us to admire the gentle curves of the length of her leg. Luxurious tan boa complements the gold and the champagne colors of the winding ramp in front of her and the elegant window display. The red lining of the skirt and the streaks at the collar and bust add much needed flashes of color. It does look like she is wielding a flute, ready to bless us with a tune for the evening. I do think that this one is distinctive enough when compared to her original evening gown skin from a composition and design perspective to warrant another look. It's just filled with this delicate feminine poise and grace and a little bit of intrigue. Chitose in mosaic of blending colors. Now, Chitose is oddly without her sister this time around. She's slipped into this daring, backless number. The skin takes advantage of Chitose's magnificent fuchsia hair, having the manju pull at it to create a curtain of this vibrant color. She's wielding this beautiful open black fan with an ornate pattern on its leaves. The black ribbon bow on the back of her hair adds a little girlish charm to what is otherwise a very lavish and womanly dress. Extravagant black and gold lining at the textured and foliage top, and a bold backless design that reveals the glowing soft skin of her back and the sides of her bust in a sinfully indulgent way. The gown hugs her legs all the way down, glittery at the bottom with a deep ruby red amidst the shadowy blackness, and there is a slight slit at the side blessing us with a small peek at her thigh. A pair of strappy heels to complement the entire ensemble, and Chitose is ready for a night on the town. She looks absolutely fantastic. Here we have Boise with Jade Mermaid. Vibrant, trademark turquoise hair and that cute electronic bunny ear antennae. We're treated to just a little bit more of her sweet, delicate facial features than usual, but she's still unwilling to reveal her lips, covering them with a closed fan. The double strap design across her hip dig into her soft skin, creating delightful skin dentation. Love the high cut of the flap and slit, exposing those supple, fulsome thighs, squeezed at the midsection by her stockings to showcase their firm springiness. The dress design itself is actually reminiscent of her other skins, the top half featuring a barely recognizable wetsuit or, or leotard look with a diamond pattern extending from her neck and the cutout window providing a tantalizing glimpse of her cleavage. She has a sheer curtain boa that's slightly transparent, which almost resembles delicate wings as it frames her figure. I do like this one quite a bit, though I do think that the pose is fairly similar to Boise's other skins. That aside, I do think it's distinctive enough to stand on its own, and I do think she looks fabulous in it as well. Here we have How in Evening Marvels. It's frankly hard to not be enchanted by How's strikingly beautiful eyes. The dress is sleek and sexy, hugging her sensational figure all the way down. The outfit is both enticingly high cut and low cut, best of both worlds. Sublime cleavage and substantial bust pluming out from the top of the chest strap, her long slender legs stretching out from beneath the hem. The deep maroon and scarlet colors contrast boldly with the luster of her velvety smooth ivory skin and piercing blue eyes. There's an alluring glitzy thigh strap and a glamorous fur boa around her. The boa does match the colors of Howe's furry companion there, which is an adorable ferret, which I absolutely love. Her fingers are gingerly playing with the locks of her side ponytail. She just has this inviting magnetism while relaxing in this lounge area. 
This skin is honestly another great win for HAL fans, that's for sure, and I do definitely consider this one to be worth the gems. Finally, we have a Washington skin in the game to enjoy, and while it may not be the bunny suit to pair her with North Carolina, at least this time, it does slip her into this flattering cocktail dress. The pearl fabric is pressed tightly against Washington's generous proportions and figure, nice reflective doily pattern on the clothing, pencil skirt design works well to reveal her shapely legs, her hair is dolled up, and she has this really fetching hair ornament that resembles half of an Olympian laurel crown. The hints of blue highlighted there, along with the crisp azure rose on the lapel of her coat, matches the calm cerulean of her eyes. While stunningly beautiful, there is something that's just very approachable about Washington here. Her posture is welcoming and friendly, she has a coat cast over her, she has that precious and endearing smile which clearly shows that her smiling practice was not done in vain. Certainly a celebration of Washington, and I am certainly thrilled that she finally has a skin in the game. And we do have some rental tickets, so we might as well take advantage of it with Rune here to show you out some of her live 2D animations. So let's go ahead and rent the Viridescent Lullaby. Oh! <laughs> Got a little inspiration for the Manju there. <laughs> Very nice intro. Like all of the panning shots, very nice. It's so nice getting away from the bustling party hall and being alone with you, Commander. I'm eager to see what we'll do now as your idea of a break. Let's check out the login here. Good timing, actually. The party was starting to bore me. Thanks for pulling me out, Commander. This is the, uh, the acquisition animation that we saw. Same deal. Almost. Get a little, a little floating heart. I like it. Main screen one. While I like the vistas as much as the next one, I'm awfully fed up with the port scenery at this point. I like how she's like a little bit agitated. She's just kind of uh, shaking her leg a little bit. And, oh god. The Yandere face. The Yandere face is real. <laughs> I like them leaning into that. Main screen too. Hee <laughs> hee, don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Why would I when it's you who brought me? Oh, she plays with the stockings a little bit. Very nice always a yummy animation when they do incorporate that. Main screen three. Since we have access to a piano, could you help me work on my singing? I'm starting to feel restless from sitting around too long. <laughs> I love that she kind of swoops behind the actual piano, getting ready to play. Got the music sheets kind of flying as the transition back between that and, uh, and the main view here. Normal touch. Oh, you're back already. And please come here and let your heart be soothed. Oh, she blows us a kiss and a little wink for good measure. Special touch. Go on. We're all alone here. Oh, wow. A little wink and a hand on the hip sends a very, very clear message. Rub. So a little head pat. Little hearts flying off of her. She looks so enraptured. I love it. Uh, mission reminder. What might the next mission be? I'm getting a little excited. Very nice. Mission complete. Let's give our all on the next mission too. And she's <laughs> she's cheering us with uh, with her glass. Mail reminder. It's not any bad news, is it? Return to port. Welcome back. Let's give you a nice warm hug. Oh, we get to hug. <gasps> oh god. <laughs> getting right in there. Dang, I love it. Okay, commission complete. Uh, see, the commission team are all the way up from here. Well, are you heading out to greet them? <laughs> Very nice. So bouncy. From a design perspective, the question is whether this skin does enough to distinguish itself from the original Rune Evening dress. The fact that this is a live 2D of course makes all the difference, but I also do think they could have elaborated and made this one a little bit more distinctive by introducing another color or another scheme or another theme to the whole thing other than just the musical elements to it. Even her hair ornament actually looks a bit similar to the last skin if you don't look too closely. That said, it is undeniable that Rune looks lovely here. While this one also features her in an elegant black dress, it has a simplified skirt, no large layered trail to it, but instead features a long thin front flap and thigh high stockings. In line with the rest of the skins in this batch, she has this lavish boa around her and hers features a bright crimson. 
Luscious curves are accentuated by the strappy nature of the top, and the stockings do their job in creating an eye-catching allure between their dark, silky fabric and her exceptional thighs. The bottom of her high-class heels are tinted with a blood red. This is Rune's first live 2D, and I do like how they gave her a bit of unhinged eyes in some of the animations, really plays it up, and I think it's very much appreciated. You have a Manju down there below furiously scribbling on a music sheet to create something for Rune to play, and you naturally have this well-realized grand piano behind her. I do think this skin is gorgeous, and I do think that it does a great job in capturing Rune's essence in its animations and its design. And so that is going to do it for us today. I am going to be picking up both Rune Skin and Hao Skin. Still debating on some of the others, but at least those two are going to be picked up by me. Uh, and then the next thing that's going to drop is the Oath Skins, I think in about a week's time or so. And we'll certainly cover the Oath Skins when they drop around that time. And uh, maybe put some rings on some fingers. I guess we'll see. Uh, but let me know in the comments below how your daily pulls have, and your grind have gone so far during the event. Uh, if you're picking up any of the evening banquet dress skins yourself, which one you're excited to pick up, uh, which one is your favorite out of the batch. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more Azure Lane content. We thank you all so much for watching and for taking time out of your day to spend with us. We really do appreciate it. And until next time, let's protect those waters.